Good morning, good people of Facebook land. How are you? It's a beautiful day. I hope that we don't get any more rain. I hate to complain about the rain falling down on the plains, but good night. It is raining just about every night. And while rain is very good for your garden, too much rain is not so good for your garden. I got little mushrooms growing in my garden. And I don't th think they're the kind you can eat. I need for it to stop raining. Just can we have a couple of days without the rain? Ugh, I hate to complain. Cause you know, in a month from now, I'm gonna be like, can you send us some rain, please? Can we just get a little balance going on here? <laughs> After the floods that Houston, the Houston, Texas area saw, I don't want to complain about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have that much rain. By the way, in Texas, it's called Houston. But in Georgia, it's Houston. Spelled the same. Houston. Why? I don't know. I'm walking through the area where the holes are. So, I'm just going to try to pay attention and not step in a hole. Okay? I'm just... I'm just gonna watch where I'm going instead of trying to watch y'all. Okay, I think I made it. <sighs> yeah, that area is pretty, it's very deceptive because there's a lot of grass so you don't see it. Penelope can't even wear her little harnesses right now because when she comes, when, when she, hmm, when we come outside, the grass is kind of tall and she's kind of low to the ground and she comes back in and her entire undercarriage is just soppy wet and I don't want to get her little things messed up. So she's having to wear her little, her old harness, you know, the actual dog harness, like she's a dog or something. Well, back to the uh, coffee pot yesterday. I just have to tell y'all, one, it was so much easier to clean than I thought it would be. I filled it up with hot water and I put some dish soap and I put some vinegar and I just left it while I went to get lunch. I was like, that's enough of that. And then I came back and I poured that out and all that just went down the drain. And then I filled it up with water and th did y'all see that? that was a hawk. Did you see the shadow of the giant hawk that just flew over? Holy moly. Any suit, any, any who's. It's that little mama bird chasing off that hawk. Good for you. Oh my gosh. It's when me and Trina was leaving the neighborhood the other day, we're coming up the hill and this hawk comes flying like right in front of our car. And we were both just silent like and the, it was so sad. It had a little baby. I think it was a baby bird in its talons. And the mama bird was chasing it. But we were both, both like... And then Trina was like, What did we just see? <laughs> I was like, that was a hawk. <laughs> a hawk. If you say it like a Georgian, it's a hawk. <laughs> Gotta emphasize that W. Anyway, back to the coffee pot. Because I know you're all very interested in the coffee pot. Well, I filled it up with water and I added vinegar to it again. And then I ran it through the coffee machine. And then I poured all that out. And then I filled it up with water and I ran it through the coffee machine again. And then it was just, I mean, easy peasy to clean. But I can't, I couldn't throw the coffee pot away. I mean, first of all, it belongs to the business, not me, right? Second of all, I, I cannot tell you the level of love that my boss and my coworker, which is her niece, I can't tell you the level of love that they have for this coffee pot. I, I don't get it for nothing, but what is this on the ground? Oh, it's a tiny little nest. Oh my gorgeous. Look at it. It's so cute, it fell from the tree. There's no babies. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop you. 
I think that's some of Penelope's hair. <laughs> I put her hair outside sometimes uh, for the birds. Anyway, yeah, so there are a little bit of coffee snobs, first of all, because when I first went to work there, my I was given my job duties and cleaning is part of my job duties. And being raised in the sheriff's office like I was, it was, these are your, these are your job duties and all others as assigned. That's the way they said it. So basically, whatever they told you to do, I mean, within reason, you know what I'm saying, you did. So I've just always been that way. Plus I'm a people pleaser. I like to please people. So yeah, anyway, cleaning is part of my job duties and I do get paid to clean so I don't mind it but Lisa got a new Keurig slash coffee pot it's a one-piece thing half one side of it is a coffee pot and the other side of it is a Keurig because she already had one I mean she already had one so I can't hold the phone with that it's very hard to do this the other way uh, she brought her old coffee pot slash Keurig to the office and we thought, hey, we can get rid of the old coffee pot. And I bought the little, the little cups, Keurig cups that you can put your own coffee in and not have to buy the plastic pods. And we thought this is going to be great, except it wasn't because they wouldn't use it. I mean, we wrote down directions, how to use it, all the things, nobody would use it. They still want that old flipping coffee pot. So I cleaned the coffee pot, but please stand by because Penelope came up under her deck to do the business. This is not my deck, it's my boss's deck. Stand by. So yeah, anyway, that's why I didn't throw away the coffee pot because it's not mine to throw away. Now, who put the coffee in it and left it? I don't know. I mean, people come in. Lisa and I typically go in on Tuesday and Thursday, but Lisa's husband had knee replacement surgery, so she's been working from home so she can be with him. So I've been going in by myself on Tuesday and Thursday. But people come in on Monday and Wednesday, woo, and sometimes on Friday, somebody might swing by there. So you never know who does what, when, and how, and all that. So it doesn't matter, but it's all clean and ready for coffee for whoever wants to make it in the old coffee pot. Yeah, they have a love affair with the coffee pot. And like I said, they're coffee snobs because I used to come in and make the coffee. I would get there at eight and they came in at like 8.30-ish and I would always have the coffee ready for them. Plus the boss, with the, who's now the owner, was there and I wanted to make him some coffee. So I forgot one morning and didn't use filtered water. I just used tap water. And I want you to know that my boss my neighbor, my friend, she took a sip of that coffee and she said, did you use tap water? And I was like, ugh, ugh, you're a coffee snob, aren't you? Ugh. I was like, uh, maybe. She was like, yeah, the water here tastes bad. And I was like, apparently, noted, don't use tap water. Okay, I'll be back. Now then, we're back from walking. Penelope's taking her a little nap. Gracie's taking her a little nap. And Mommy's just having a sit down on the couch for a moment before I get up and get started on my day. Y'all, I slept till the sun came up. What? That never happens. And the song I was singing this morning, because so many of you put it in the comments the other day, I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. That may not have been the best rendition, but whatever. It was the Coca-Cola song from back in the day. So, I love it. Other than that, it's, oh, uh, yesterday when I got home and I told y'all Phoenix took off running and Naomi called her back. Anyway, 
I came in and I always go through all the little notices on my blink camera and I noticed that there was movement at my side door and I was like, hmm. So I tap on it and Naomi runs up to the door and she rings the doorbell and then she starts talking. Well, she turns around and walks off and then Phoenix comes running up and she's talking into the microphone because now they know. <laughs> so I have no idea what Phoenix said because sometimes it's really hard to understand her when, when you're face to face, but especially across the screen. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But then Naomi came back up and she said, okay, Miss Tracy, we're leaving now because Penelope's acting like she wants to bark at us. Toodles or whatever she said. And she turned around and walked off, but I thought it was cute. They left me a message. <laughs> Anyway, toodles for now, and I'll see y'all later. I gotta go do some things that I don't want to do, like run errands, but I'll be back later. Okay, goodbye. Good morning. I mean, again, I just finished my other one, but I'm gonna go ahead and start on part two. I don't know if you will be able to hear Penelope, but she's snoring. Probably not, because every time I try to record her doing this, she stops. Just like a kid, you know? They'll make a liar out of you every time. Well, anyway, I just read a story that someone called 911 in Atlanta. You know, a very busy area, as you can imagine. They called 911 because their cat apparently dropped a bomb of sorts. I have to add, you dropped the bomb on me, baby. You dropped the bomb on me. Okay, carry on. In the litter box. And they said the smell was so bad that they were having to burn incense and they needed emergency response to come out. He said the smell's just getting worse, sir. Um, sir. <laughs> They make these little scoops, okay? And you're supposed to clean it out very frequently anyway to keep the smell down. But yeah, if they drop one that bad, all you gotta do is get a little bag and scoop it in there and tie that little bag up and throw it away. Maybe perhaps take it outside and then when you take your trash out, you can just put the bag in your trash if you don't want it just in your trash. But still, regardless, I use a litter that can be flushed. So you could just go flush it. Now, I don't flush mine because I have a septic tank and that scares me because, well, my septic tank scares me, to be quite honest. I'm terrified of my septic tank. <laughs> I just don't want anything to happen, so I'm very careful, okay? Oh, by the way, in case you've noticed, I'm getting a little bit of my curl back because I bought a new shampoo at the salon the other day. When I when I go to the salon, they have been having this game. I think she calls it Plinko or Plunko or something like that. But you take this big coin thing and you drop it down and it zigzags and... I think it was three or four times I won $50 off my service, so my nails were free. Well, this time I didn't win $50 off. I won 25% off your purchase. So I bought some shampoo by Redken for curly hair, and I'm also trying not to blow dry it. I'm just holding my little, basically I'm trying to diffuse it. Yeah, except I don't have a blow dryer with a diffuser. That is on my list of things to get. But I use my rolling brush and I just hold it. And I think some of my curl might be coming back. Because my hair was so curly last year. And now all of a sudden my curl's gone. And I'm like, what happened to my curls? I mean, I realize it's more waves. But I realize that it's not that curly. But still, I mean, how do you just lose them? Ugh. I'll be back. <laughs> Hi, now it's afternoon and I'm enjoying the rain that we're having. Yes, that's right. 
my phone just alerted me that it's raining. So I thought I would come out and enjoy it. I have my pant legs pulled up to my knees and I have my shoes, 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 shoes and socks off so I can get some sunshine on my feet because I usually walk around with my socks and my Crocs. And then instead of a farmer's tan, I have, I don't know what you call it, but my feet are white and my legs will be brown. I think you call it tacky. When I lived in the townhouse, I had a, one of my neighbors, he wore Crocs all the time, but he didn't wear socks with his because he wasn't cool like I am. <laughs> and <laughs> he's, it's the same one that Charlie peed on his leg and it filled up his croc, but he took his shoe off and, cause we, you know, we had a pool and we would all go down and lay by the pool and swim and do all the things. I do miss that pool. Gosh, I miss that pool. If pools wasn't so hard to keep up with, I would want a pool, but I don't need one more thing to keep up with. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Anyway, he took his shoes off. <laughs> And he was, uh, he's Italian, so he was fairly dark complected anyway. And he had little white dots all, no, no, that's backwards. His foot was white and he had little dark spots all over his foot from the holes in the crocs. <laughs> I was like, I think you're bringing sexy back, fella. I think you are. I mean, it do be windy out here. And there do be a lot of clouds over there, so maybe it is gonna rain for a minute, but I'm enjoying the sunshine while I've got it because it has been a rainy May. Let's see, March winds bring April showers that bring May flowers. Well, we're got the March winds and the April showers going on in May but I do have some flowers blooming. So yeah, it's just a combination of all three, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, I've talked myself out of going to Costco because I was like, well, you know, technically, I don't know if I said that in my last video, but I was gonna go run some errands because the office needs stuff. But technically they still have enough water. I mean, there's like, I don't know, 20 bottles of water and there was four cans of Coke. <laughs> I doubt anybody will drink them but me. They're the little mini cans. So when I go to the office, I have a mini can of Coke on my Chick-fil-A crushed ice. Twice a week Coke limit. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. I would like to have it here every day too, but that's not good. I'm trying to limit my bad, you know. Not really. I mean, I am, but sort of, but not really. Anyway, what was I going to say? I don't know, but I guess that's it for this moment. I just wanted to show you the sunshine. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to say. I was just uh, sitting here with my feet propped up, and I thought about my mama. My mom worked outside all the time. She came down with MS, and at first it was really bad. And, you know, she struggled walking, she struggled with everything. Then she learned, hey, you know what? I gotta rest, and I gotta give in when my body's telling me to give in. I can't just keep going. But she was like me, she was a hard worker. But she loved working out in the yard. And I just had this thought about her. She would put on her bathing suit and a pair of shorts and go out there and work in her yard like that. Yeah, that's how she got her tan and her weeds pulled at the same time. And then if she got too hot, she would get in the swimming pool. But my mother was terrified of water. She was always afraid she was gonna drown because she couldn't swim. So one day, I mean, she started swimming back and forth across the, the narrow end. It was a it was a um, oblong pool and she would swim back and forth at the shallow end. Well, when she went to stand up, she was on the part that slides down like this and her feet went out from under her. 
and she thought she was drowning. She's jumping up and down and hollering. Well, I, I have been a good swimmer since literally birth. She said she used to put me in a swimming pool and every time she sat me in there, you know, it'd just be those little kiddie pools. I went face down every single time and she would panic and pull me up and she said she'd put me back in there and I'd go face down and she was finally like, well, I guess she likes it. Hey, Mikey, she likes it. So she was like, okay, I guess she knows what to do. And I just, I never was taught how to swim. I just knew, but I swam up under her that day and I lifted her up. Now she wouldn't get in the swimming pool when she was by herself. If she did, she wouldn't swim. She would stay in the, the shallow end and just kind of dunk herself and then get back out. But anyway, I got up under her and I walked her to the shallow end and then I kind of chunked her off of me because <laughs> I couldn't breathe. I had to get her off of me. Oh my gosh, she felt so bad because she could have killed me and how did she just allow me to walk her up like that? And I was like, mom, I was fine. I mean, I, I'm a good swimmer and I could hold my breath for a long time then, not so much anymore. Let me show you this cloud and then I'm gonna let you go. Perhaps that's where the rain's coming from. That's a big one. That's what she said, right? Am I right? Goodness, There's lots of wind. Anyway, that's going to be it for part two. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which, good Lord willing, will be tomorrow, okay? Toodles, my noodles, and stay silly, my friends. Goodbye.